Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's gonna be another beginner series. There's gonna be a couple new movements that you maybe haven't seen before. And, uh, and if you're struggling with the flows, don't worry, keep practicing, keep working, and I guarantee you they're gonna get a lot easier for you. Uh, we got about six exercises we're gonna run through. So let me go over those exercises for you really quick before we begin the flow. So exercise number one is going to be a kettlebell swing. Kettlebell swing is a hip dominant exercise, and when you're flexing in your hip, the good news is, is that you're working your glutes. Before I begin, I wanna think of a triangle, right? My knees, are the bottom of the triangle, my hip is the top of the triangle, right? The power, the triangle of power, okay? We wanna take the kettlebell to the top of the triangle, all right? So we're here, we're loading the hips, top of the triangle, and we snap the hip forward, right? I've got my shoulders engaged, so my shoulders are dropping down. I snap my hip forward, I squeeze my butt, I don't over arch at the top, right? Now, from a swing, we are gonna go into a clean. Cleaning is catching. You generate momentum and you catch the kettlebell. You catch it in the rack position. So what does that mean? That means I'm gonna generate momentum, boom, I'm gonna flip it and I'm gonna catch the kettlebell in this racked position. So as I come out of the swing, boom, I catch the kettlebell. That's one of the beauties of having these competition kettlebells. They don't hurt so much on the back of your arm when you're catching. So we come out of our swing, we go into our clean. Where do we do, where do we go from here? We're gonna do a side or a lateral drop. Now what this is, it's a rotation through the hip, it's a pivot on the opposite heel, and we're literally gonna send the kettlebell to the outside of this opposite leg. We come out of our swing, whoop, clean, and then we drop, and as we clean it back, right, we're gonna take that leg, then we're dropping to the outside, and we're gonna step back into this curtsy lunge. You wanna think of taking one leg, sending it behind the front leg, and having that knee drop right behind the ankle or the heel of the front leg, and generally getting it to the outside. And then from here, taking that same leg, we're gonna step out to a side lunge, right? Side lunge, we wanna make sure we're pushing back into the hip, right? So you wanna strike with the ball of the foot, heel hits the floor, hip pushes back. And you are leaning forward into this as you push your hip back. Think of your belly button going toward your thigh, right? So that's our side lunge. So we come out of the curtsy lunge, we go into that side lunge, all while the kettlebell is in that racked position, press up out of that, swing back to the top of the triangle, back to our dead stop, basically where we started, and then we're gonna execute one offset push-up. We're gonna put one hand on the kettlebell, one hand on the floor, and do one push-up. Then we're gonna stand, we're gonna switch hands, do the whole thing again. We have one swing, boom, we clean, bang. We drop, we curtsy lunge, we side lunge, stepping that foot back, we swing, Dead stop, hand to the kettlebell, step back, one push up, stand up, switch arms, boom. And we go into the same thing on that other side. All right, so we're gonna go for three minutes. Five, four, let's start with our left arm. Let's go, we go swing, clean, then we're gonna rotate, drop, take that right leg. Curtsy lunge, right leg. Side lunge, swing it back, dead stop, hand to the kettlebell, step back, push up. Bang, step up, switch hands. Here we go. Swing, and then we clean, and we rotate to the other side, and we step back into that curtsy, step out into that side lunge, swing it back, dead stop. That's right, left hand down, and we get our push up. Boom, that is it, let's keep going. Swing, clean, rotate, curtsy, step out, side lunge, bring it back, swing, dead stop, and push up. Let's switch sides. Here we go, now we're just in the grind. Now we start finding that tempo that we can maintain, so there's a bit of a meditation to this. Since one exercise goes from the next, to the next, to the next, and they all just seem 
to flow one after the next. Good, and if you wanna do a little challenge here, you can start to add a push-up in. Swing, clean, we're halfway there. Drop, curtsy, step it out. Side, swing it back. Here, let's add a push-up, let's make it two. One, two, let's switch hands. Here we go, swing, clean, drop, step back, boom, out to the side. Swing it back, and let's get two. We got a minute to go. Switch sides, yeah, three minutes. Long time when you're under tension with that kettlebell. And that's the beauty of flow. We're constantly working. We're constantly under load. So it definitely has an endurance to it. Bit of a conditioning side to it, as well as working strength, not to mention the mental focus. We got about 20 seconds. Let's get one more. Swing, clean, side, swing it back. Countdown, give me two more push-ups. Hey, we like the sound of that. That's it, look at me. Three minutes later, I'm smoked. There you have it, another three minute kettlebell flow for you. I hope you enjoyed this flow. Uh, please like and subscribe and even comment if there's something you'd like to see uh, happen in the future. I always will answer back my comments. Thank you everybody.